guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my experience interning as a digital design intern at Best Buy the summer after my freshman year. So I was 18 years old at the time and didn't know a lot about internships and working at a big company. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I learned while I was at my internship and what it was like. So the first question I wanted to answer is how did I get my first internship at Best Buy? So I was learning a bit about Adobe Creative Suite, Sketch, HTML, CSS on my own time before starting university. I've taken a web design class before and also some online courses here and there. So I knew a little bit about what the position entailed. I sent in a resume around December through my school's job career site and around February uh, 2nd, the Hiring manager sent me an email saying that he would like to schedule a 15-20 minute phone call with me just to understand my background and my interests better. After completing that personality behavioral interview through a phone, I then had to go in for an in-person interview on site and I sat down with the digital designer that I would be working with during my internship as well as the UX director of the company at the time. And they went over it through my resume, my background, my skill sets, some of the projects I've got to work on. And finally, a month later, I received an offer letter saying that I got the internship. The next question is, what are some of the perks I got while being an intern there? So one of the benefits was having an on-site gym. They had a personal trainer and a bunch of gym equipment. There was also a cafeteria with uh, hot surf food every day. There is a laundry drop-off, so if you were too busy to do laundry, you could have your dry cleaning services done while going to work. And you could also take a shuttle that ran from the nearest SkyTrain station every 15 minutes, taking you to and from work, so that if you were a commuter and didn't want to drive to work every day, you could use that option. There was also an employee discount on almost all the products, which was really great. Uh, I actually got a new iPad while working as an intern there. There's also a bunch of employee training programs during the internship. I got to take classes on communication, productivity, design thinking, agile, etc. Some of the company events were also really fun. We had a calendar day event where they had an ice cream truck and a buffet lunch and a bunch of different activities. The next question is, what kind of team did you work on during your internship? So during my internship, I worked on a cross-functional team. For those unfamiliar with this term, it means that my team was not just all designers, but it had all sorts of people from different backgrounds on my team, including business coordinators, project managers, content specialists, scrum masters, etc. So that was my main team, but I also got to collaborate with all the designers from different teams in Best Buy do a weekly community of practice meetings. And during those meetings, we get to discuss design practices, projects coming up, share advice and give tips to each other so that we could bring our learnings back to our own cross-functional teams so that we could improve ourselves. Another question that I get a lot is, what is the difference between a digital design intern versus a UX intern or a graphic design intern? So a UX design intern will probably focus more on the psychology behind design. They make user stories and user personas to come up with fictional scenarios or consumers to understand how we can target the audience. They may also do things like user testing and user interviews to understand the potential customers better. They are really interested in why a user may make certain decisions over others so we can use that knowledge to improve designs. A graphic design intern, on the other hand, focuses heavily on the visual aspect of design. They also use Creative Adobe Suite, but instead of just focusing on web, tablet, and mobile, they may be making things like for print or for other medias. A digital design intern focuses heavily on designing for the web. So we also need to know things like programming in HTML and CSS to make our designs come alive after designing them in Creative Adobe Suite. Finally, a lot of you guys are curious about what kind of projects did I get to work on while being an intern. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that I got to do. One of the things that I do weekly is create these footers. So I would go into the product images that we have to create these little images and use Photoshop and InDesign to create graphics that are appealing and people would click on them to look at the latest deals. There are also things like sales that I would have to do. I would make touch points like a top banner, these side banners, and a main one. And they'd have similar graphics so that people, when they're shopping, would know that this is part of one big sale and they wouldn't get confused. 
Sometimes I would also create these buyer banners. So if there's a little promotion going on for a specific page, I would get to create graphics like this. I would also need to keep in mind that when I'm creating graphics, I need to consider that people may not just be viewing it on their desktop. They might be looking at it on the iPad, so I would need to create ones like this, or they might be viewing it on their phones. So I need to make sure that all the text and images is fully readable on all sorts of devices. There was also some other big projects that I got to work on during my internship. One of them was revamping the jewelry site. So before the jewelry hub looked like this, it was a little bit confusing for people to see the consistency between categories. So I had to change some things around. I created these icons so that people would be able to click on the category that I would like. I used things like Adobe Creative Suite to create these shadows, manipulate the images so that they were consistent. And for each page, I would do a similar thing. So for earrings, this is what it looked like before, and then now I made it look more consistent with the similar color scheme and design. And this is the new rings page. Finally, there was also a hackathon that I got to participate in, which was really fun. I got to be in a team with all the other interns and we created an influencer dashboard. Um, we were trying to come up with an influencer program. So my design was really just to communicate what our program was about and what our, our idea was. We got to present in front of the entire company and we actually won the People's Choice Award for doing this project. I also got to help out another team with the E3 project. So during that time, it was during the video game event, and we were launching a bunch of video game titles on our website. So I helped create title pages such as this with these banners and create them for mobile and for desktop. I also helped create these little icons for each game so that people would know which ones we had. And yeah, that was some of the things that I got to work on during this internship. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you would get notified when I upload a new one.